In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to bonds, notes payable, and long-term liabilities. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. First question, the market value of a bond is A, the present value of all future cash payments, B, the present value of all future interest payments, C, the present value of the principal, D, the future value of all cash payments, and E, the future value of all future uh, interest payments. Okay, let's go through this. The bond value, uh, the market value of a bond. Now, when you say the market value of a bond, what you're really looking for is the, is the price you're going to sell it for. What are you going to sell it for? And uh, it's not going to be equal to the face amount of the bond because the interest on the bond could be different than the market rate. So if we go through these, then the print we're, obviously it has something to do with time value of money because all these have to do with present value and future value stuff. So A says the present value of all future cash payments. That sounds kind of reasonable. B says the present value of all future interest payments. And C says the present value of principal payments. So A, C, A, B, and C are kind of breaking out all the different combinations of the types of payments. There's only two. We're going to get the principal back and we're going to get the interest back. So is it the present value of, of, you know, which of those present values would it be? And then D says the future value of all future cash flows and E says the future value of all future interest payments. Now of those two, the question then is, well, is it present or future value? Now, typically, if we're trying to see the price as of today, we're looking for the present value. So it's not going to be D or E because we're not looking for the future value. We don't want to know how much it costs in the future. We want to know what the price is now. So it's going to be one of the present values. And of the three present values, we're going to go through this again. The market value of a bond is the present value of all future cash payments. That sounds pretty reasonable. B says the present value of just the interest or just the principal present value. And it's really going to be A because that's that's what the value is now, right? We're going to say, what are we going to get from this bond? We're going to get interest payments and we're going to get a principal payment at the end. We want to know what those payments are worth today, discounted at whatever the current market rate is. And that'll give us basically the price. So the market value of a bond, kind of the selling price of the bond, is going to be A, the present value of all future cash payments. Next question, which is an advantage of bond financing? A, bonds do not change owner control. B, bonds require payments at maturity. D, bonds pay interest. E, bonds pay back interest and principal. Now, when you think about these advantages and disadvantages of bonds, you gotta kind of think, contrast them to something else. I mean, we're buying bonds, I mean, we're selling bonds, why? To get cash, what else could we do to get cash? Well, we could issue stock or we could take out a loan. Those are our other two options. So what are the advantages of bonds? Is kind of like, what are the advantages as compared to other financing options typically? So which is an advantage of a bond financing? A, bonds do, do, not, charge, do not change owner control. And that's true because we issue bonds unlike stocks. That's what it's comparing to. That's what you got to kind of just know. Like, why, why would they even ask that? Well, because another way of financing like stocks does uh, get cash but it requires us to give us control of the business some control and then B says require payment at maturity uh, that's true but it's not good we don't like to have payments at maturity is there another way to finance where we wouldn't have payments at maturity yeah through stocks but we'd have to give up some control to do it so B is not an advantage D says bonds pay interest and again that and that's true 
but it's not an advantage, that's a disadvantage. We don't want to pay interest. Is there any way we could finance and not pay interest? Yeah, if we issued stock, but then again, we'd have to give up the control. And then E says bonds pay back interest and principal. And again, both those things we don't like. Is there any way we would not have to pay back interest and principal? Yeah, if we issued the stock, <laughs> then we wouldn't have to pay back the interest and principal. But the disadvantage is gonna be A. So the question and answer once again, which is an advantage of bond financing? A, bonds do not change owner control.